Hi everyone, Ironclad Cobra here and welcome to another video of my Steam Deck videos. Today I'm going to give you a quick or starter guide on how to install MU Deck or Emulation Station so you can use your Steam Deck for emulation as well. And of course uh, the Steam Deck is an awesome emulation king. It can emulate all the old systems as well as the new systems. I think it can easily emulate up to PS3, Xbox 360 and even Nintendo Switch. So let's get started. First of all, let me just show you that we are going to start with our uh, game mode, as you see. Uh, make sure first to uh, format your micro SD card, because, you know, it's advisable to use an SD card if your uh, internal storage is not really big. So you can have your game ROMs, as well as your BIOS and the Emutech app on the SD card. So first of all, make sure to go to um, your settings, as you see here. Let me focus the camera. Okay. And then from settings, make sure to go to system. And then from system, you can scroll down until you reach format SD card, as you see here. So make sure to format the micro SD card so you can have it ready to use. So after you do that, we can go back and we have to switch now to uh, the desktop mode. Now the good thing about MU Deck is that it uh, has uh, the ROM manager. It configures all your game ROMs as well as it uses emulation station as a front end. So it's really, really handy and cool looking. So we'll go now to uh, the desktop mode, as you see. Power, and then down to switch to desktop. Okay. So now I'm on the desktop mode, as you see. Uh, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to use um, the best way for me personally, my personal preference is to use uh, a USB drive and also to use uh, an adapter uh, which is uh, USB-A to USB-C. I think this is easier for me because if you're trying to use an SD card in your Windows PC, uh, Windows will not be able to read the Linux files because as you see it's a Linux uh, device so all the files will be in Linux you know so it will not be uh, doable unless you're using a Linux PC I personally have a Windows PC so the best way for me was to use um, a USB drive and then transfer my ROMs and BIOS from here into my Steam Deck I would like to give a big shout out to the Ace Wolf uh, because he helped me a lot in the file transfer uh, process. I'll also include a link to his YouTube channel as well. So let's go. So we are going to use this. So this is it. Uh, of course, first of all, what we have to do is you have to use your browser whether it's uh, Firefox or Google Chrome, we have to go to mudeck.com. Once you download the app of EmuDeck, uh, it will automatically be on your downloads. So make sure to move it from your downloads into your desktop. And as you see here, it's on my desktop, EmuDeck. Okay. And then we will 
uh, certainly, you know, open it. But before we open it, let me just show you uh, the entire process. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, have mount my USB drive here. Okay, and as you see here, it will be automatically as my uh, the so the primary as you see here will be my micro SD card, which is 512 uh, gigabytes, and then transcend is my USB drive. So the reason why I am going to show you this is that when you open your file manager here. as you see on your file manager if you scroll down here you will see that there is primary and there is transcend primary of course is my SD card and transcend is my USB drive so what you have to do now Transcend is where my uh, ROMs and BIOS files are. Okay, so we will use it later in the video to transfer the BIOS and ROMs. Okay, so so let's close this now and let's open MU Deck. You can also use your touch screen to do that. okay so of course sometimes there are updates make sure to go with the updates but if you don't have to then you can go to uh, tools and stuff okay in this section uh, before we talk about this section normally when you start a fresh uh, installation of course I will include all the steps in my video description uh, it will prompt you to um, custom uh, mode or easy mode of course the easy mode doesn't have to go through the configuration so it's a quick configuration for you but of course you can always go back to that you also have to choose your uh, storage preference I personally have it on my micro SD card so it's better and I keep the internal storage for the system files okay <clears throat> so let's go once you once we have this we can go to I think tools and stuff oh before we do that let's go to the steam ROM manager okay and make sure to uh, exit the ROM manager because we don't need it now So this is the important part. Once you move your uh, BIOS and ROMs, you will come to the uh, Steam ROM Manager. And in this section, you are going to set your preferences. Uh, first of all, we have this section here that says Parsers. So in the Parsers section, you can toggle on and off all the emulation systems or the games you would like to have on your Steam OS or user interface. I personally don't prefer to clutter my Steam OS, so you can toggle off, you know, whatever you wish. Uh, I always like to have a couple of games on my Steam OS, so you can do that, and then you can go to uh, Preview here. and then after preview you can go to the bottom left generate app list now when you do that it will configure all your emulation systems as well and it will add the emulators uh, if you person if you personally don't like this setup or this artwork make sure to go to the top right select type here and then from that you can go to posters and then choose the orientation you prefer. You can go right and left and add any posters or artwork that you wish. Now, uh, it's worth mentioning here that sometimes you might have, uh, let's say, a mismatch or the artwork doesn't show. 
make sure to go to a website called Steam Grid DB. And from steamgriddb.com, uh, you can choose the artwork that you wish to have or the poster that you like to have. I personally showed in the video Need for Speed Carbon because that's my favorite uh, game. Uh, but anyway, you can use however you wish. Uh, after you do that, make sure to go down to this section here. And then you can go to Save App List. Once you set all your artwork preferences, go to save app list, this section, and then wait a couple of minutes. After that, you can go to the event log here, top left, and in the event log, you can wait until it says done adding. After that, you are ready to go. So you can close it again and all your ROMs, all your BIOS, and all your games will be configured through Steam ROM Manager. Now, as I mentioned, to transfer your BIOS and your game ROMs is quite simple. Once you have your USB mounted in, you can go to this section, to the File Manager, or the Dolphin File Manager, and as you see here, to scroll down and show you okay so as you see the primary I can click on it this one is the internal uh, steam system as you see here there's the emulation station and this is where you need to copy or move your uh, ROMs and BIOS so there's the BIOS folder here and there is the ROMs folder here. So you can simply just uh, copy it from your USB. And then the transcend, in my case, is my USB drive. And as you see here, I have my Steam Deck ROMs and BIOS. So as you see, I just did Atari 2600 GameCube, which has the uh, Need for Speed Carbon as well as some PSP games and PS1 games as well. So you can just move them to the respective folders. After that, you are ready to go. We can close this again. Now, let me just mention, if you would like more detailed or more in-depth guide, Russ from Retro Game Corps is one of the greatest content creators on YouTube which makes, uh, and he makes lots of cool emulation uh, guides, uh, console reviews. So I'll include a link to his video. He also made a great video about adding EmuDeck to your Steam Deck. I'll include it in the video description. So once we are done, we can switch back to the game mode, as you see. So I just want to show you. Of course, there are always uh, room for preference. You know, you can um, start uh, the games from emulation station, or you can set them single games or put them on your um, user interface. So as you see here, uh, let me just show you my library. Okay. So as I mentioned, I don't like to clutter my uh, user interface, so I have only GameCube, PSP, as well as my um, PS you know, uh, emulators, and then as you see, emulation station, and then you can start it here, 
you know, it, you know, Steam regards it as a game. So if you click on it, awesome. See, it's amazing. Huh? It has all your games, you know, with your artwork. You can of course uh, scrape box art as well. Yeah. So this is Atari 2600, my favorite uh, old system. And then, you know, the other systems that you have. There you go. Now you have an emulation powerhouse. Okay. Or, as I mentioned, you can also set the games as a favorite. So you can access them separately. Let me just show you that as well. If you go to the favorites here, as you see, I have my games separately. So I have Need for Speed Carbon, uh, GameCube, uh, Outrun 2006, Coast to Coast, the Ferrari game as well. Yeah, or you can use them, as I mentioned, in the collection from accessing your games from Emulation Station, whichever you prefer. So. That was it for today guys, thank you so much for watching the video, I hope it was helpful. As I mentioned, if you like more detailed uh, guide, make sure to go to Russ from Retro Game Corp's video, which will be included in the video description. So thank you so much for watching, um, I really appreciate your time, uh, feel free to like and subscribe if you like the video, and always remember. We don't stop gaming because we grow old, we grow old because we stop gaming.